Sound is one of the most important elements of storytelling. And I recorded all of the sounds used in the intro sequence here with the DDS Mic 2S. Now, of course, I only have one DDS Mic 2S, so I was kind of here, you know, using different things in my studio to make those sounds. Everything except for that lightning boom. I got that off of Epidemic Sound's sound library. This is the DDS Mic 2S. It's a new short shotgun microphone from Deity. Now, I usually have my microphone placed right about this far away from my face, so if you're familiar with all my older videos, this is what they would sound like if I was using the DDS Mic 2S. I've done a review already on the DDS Mic 2, and it sounds very, very similar to the S Mic 2S. In fact, I think it uses the same electronics, it's just condensed into a much shorter little microphone, about half the size, and it weighs a little bit less. I really like the DDS Mic 2S because it is so little and it's also super durable. It's really something you can just throw it in your pocket and then take it to where you need it to go and then start using it. So the S Mic 2S has a slightly different form factor than the S Mic 2 and in, because of that, it makes it so it's slightly less directional, meaning if you veer off to the side just a tiny bit or maybe you have two people speaking into the microphone side by side, it's gonna be a better choice than the regular S Mic 2 or any of your other more traditional shotgun microphones. So it's still a shotgun microphone, it's still directional, and it still has the same sound quality as the S-Mic 2. You can splash it with water, drop it in the mud, you can rinse it off with distilled water because all the insides are protected, they're like epoxied or something. They're, they're all covered and waterproofed, so you don't have to worry about screwing it up. Now there's another channel, uh, The Basic Filmmaker, where he like straight up microwaves it, and then I've seen Deity staff actually, you know, just playing soccer with one of their S-Mic 2s at a Cinegear Expo. So you know they're super durable, and if you're gonna spend 350 bucks on a microphone, knowing that it's something that you don't have to baby and protect and treat very delicately is gonna be really valuable and it's gonna save you time because, you know, when it's time to come pack up or go use it somewhere, you wanna put it in its special hermetically sealed case and make sure everything is all super protected. I mean, the S-Mic 2S comes with its nice little travel case and it's got like the foam inside padding and it's got like the humidity seal, but you don't need any of that. You can just throw it in your bag haphazardly and you know it's gonna work when you get to your location and you're not gonna to have to buy more microphones because they don't break. Just for posterity's sake, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with some other microphones now. So this is the S-Mic 2S, this is the DD S-Mic 2, and here is the Sennheiser MKH 416, the one that I usually use. I think too much weight is put on these side-by-side -side tests that everyone's doing. Um, I, I, don't, I feel like they should almost be taken with a grain of salt because when you're listening to a side-by-side -side comparison of two microphones in a studio environment, yes, they're gonna sound different and there's gonna be one that probably sounds better than the other, but they're subjective because it depends on the person's voice that you're hearing through the microphone. And that's one of the reasons you should try or rent microphones before you buy them because your voice might sound better coming through one microphone than it does through another. I know my voice and I know that I have a particular sound that I like to hear and that's through the MKH 416 in this space, in this studio environment. But I've already done a test on the S-Mic 2 in a variety of different situations, in a shower, in a garage, outside, and honestly, I can't tell the difference and I can't tell them apart in those scenarios. So sure, in my studio, there's one that sounds good, but all of them are so, they sound so close to each other that I can't tell them apart in these other environments, and it just does not make sense to go drop three times the price on something like the Sennheiser MKH 416 when you can get equal quality out of the S-Mic 2 or the S-Mic 2S in those situations. And if you're looking for a durable shotgun microphone that you can take with you and get work done, you're gonna get more value out of the S-Mic 2S because it's smaller, it costs less, you have more money for to spend on other filmmaking resources. So that's my take on the S-Mic 2S. I really like it. I'm happy to have it in my tool bag and it's gonna be coming with me if I ever need to take a shotgun microphone outside of the studio. Now one person asked me if on a, one of my Instagram posts, someone asked if they should be using the S-Mic 2S or if they should be using Deity's V-Mic D3 Pro. My answer to that is if you're trying to record better sound in camera, as in something that will actually plug into your you know, mirrorless camera, then of course get the Deity V-Mic D3 Pro. 
that's what I use and it's it has the proper input jack to plug into your camera. Of course, this one is an XLR microphone, meaning it's gonna have inputs like this. And so you're gonna need something that you can plug this into to actually use it. And you're gonna need to provide 48 volts of phantom power. I use the Mix Pre 3, just the version one, not the version two. Uh, before that, I used the Zoom H6. They're all great tools. Uh, if you wanna pick up your own, of course, there's a link to it in the description of the video. If you like that intro sequence, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And if you wanna see more like it, hit the subscribe button. And if you've got questions, drop them in the comments and happy to answer. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.